What's going on guys, I'm Bill and welcome to Bill's How To. Today I'm going to show you guys how to fix a very common problem with the Dyson Stick vacuum cleaners. This is the cordless version. Regardless which model you have, it's a very common problem across the board. And the issue we're having is randomly stopping and pulsating. So let's get straight into it guys. Let's do this. So the issue that I'm having with this unit here is sometimes it pulsates and other times it turns off randomly. I seem to be only getting about... 30 seconds to a minute worth of use um, after it's been fully charged at the moment. This is fully charged. It's just come off the uh, charger and I'll press it now while it's off the max mode. So max mode is not on. I seem to get a lot more runtime with the max mode off. And now when I press the max mode on, You can see immediately the flashing light on the uh, max mode. And there you have it guys, that's about all I get out of it. Fully charged and I'm going to show you guys how to fix this now. So the first thing you want to do guys is make sure that your filters are nice and clean, um, your unit's nice and clean and it's actually clear. What I mean is no debris in there blocking the way. Quickly check this one here out. Easy way to find the location of your filter if you've got a different unit to this one here is a little purple button that actually indicates filter. So on the DC44 we're going to press that button on top, pull the unit back and we've now exposed our filter. So this little purple section here is the actual filter and as you can see it's nice and clean if your one is dirty simply take it outside dust it off you can use an air compressor or a blower blow that one there off or you can wash this and let it dry just make sure you let it dry before reinstalling it back into the unit if that's all clean put the filter back in its location and then we can look at the canister so with the canister make sure you empty the contents into the bin before you do this okay so what we're going to do is just press the button to release the bottom of the canister. This one here is nice and empty. We're going to look at the bottom of it. There's another red tab right here. So we're going to pull on that red tab, pull the canister away, and you can see there it just simply pops away. Pull the canister out, and now we've got our two units separated. So once again, all these little holes here, you need to make sure that it's all cleared. There's no debris blocking the way. Use a little brush or an old uh, toothbrush, anything to just clear these little holes out. Make sure it's all running nice and smooth. Next thing we're going to look at is the actual uh, canister and the barrel. So you want to quickly look through the barrel, make sure that you can see all the way through. You can see there on the back end where my finger is, try and show that for you guys. Make sure it's all nice and clear all the way through, especially on the back end here because this is where all the mess goes through into the canister. So everything goes through your barrel and then through here. If you've got a little blockage here, that could be affecting the performance of your unit. So we're going to put everything back here because we know my unit is nice and clean. The most absolute common problem is the battery itself. Um, the battery loses charge over the years and for that reason we actually need to replace the battery. It's not a daunting process, it's very simple. All you need is a Phillips head screwdriver and your new battery. So I'm going to quickly put this unit here back together. So we're going to reverse everything back the way it was. This one here goes on this way. So we're going to have a look at the top here. You'll notice there's a little tab. That tab goes in first. So just put it on a little bit of an angle. Tab goes in, then we can click the bottom straight into place there and you can hear that little click. Close the bottom of the canister, return our main unit back on, bottom side goes in first, close that one there up and we're ready to go guys. So now that we've got our new battery, all you need to know regarding the battery is if you go onto eBay and just type in Dyson and then your, the name of the, your model, so this one here is DC44 Animal um, and type in battery you'll come up with a range of batteries for your unit. Now they're all pretty much generic as far as I know, the model numbers, um, they're all uh, interchangeable. The only thing you need to look out for is whether it's a type A or type B style of battery. If we have a look on the bottom here, just wait for this one here to focus. On the top here it says type B, so I'm not too sure if you guys can see that. Type B is the style of battery. From memory, I think any unit older than 2013 is a Type A. Any unit that was made after 2013 is a Type B. And I'll show you guys quickly the difference once I open it. It's really, really easy to know. Okay, so what we're going to do once again, pull it apart where the filter is. I'm going to remove the filter. On the bottom here, you'll notice there's one little screw. So you can see the screw right above the connectors here. We're going to take our Phillips head screwdriver 
and we're going to remove that screw from here. So remembering it's a short screw on the inside and our second screw is going to be a long one. So in case you guys forget, short screw goes on the inside and the long one is on the outside. So we'll flip the unit around the back. This is where the charging port is. On top here, there's another screw that runs inside. So that's another Phillips head screw. So once again, put the screwdriver in, back that one there off, flip the unit upside down, and then you wait for the screw to drop out. Now these are the two screws so that you guys know the difference. Huge difference between the two. One's very short, one's very long. Now that we've got that out, we can grab hold of the bottom battery pack. This is the battery pack down the bottom and simply pull it out, give it a little wiggle, and that there is the actual battery pack. Now when we look at the battery, you can see these little section right here. The longer style is the Type B, and the really short style is a Type A. So in case you're not too sure, you can pull out your battery pack. If it's got a long arm like this one here, and we've got the screw location up on top, that is a Type B. The shorter styles is a Type A. But once again, they're on the back anyway, so you can't really get these ones here wrong. What we're going to do, open up uh, the new package, which I've just received. It costs about $30, so it is very, very cheap to replace. And now once we open this one here up, we can compare the two batteries. They are absolutely identical. That is exactly what we're after. You can see the same size, same shape up on top. We've got the same screw location up on top. So now we take our new battery, pop that one there back in place. We'll take the long screw first. Screw that one into place. And now we can take our short screw. Put that one back in as well. Make sure everything's in nice and tight. Pop the filter back on. And now we're ready to go. So once you've replaced the battery guys, put it on charge. Make sure everything's operating the way it should. And it's that simple guys, that is how to fix a very common problem, simple solution. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video. As always, like, comment and subscribe. Until next time, I'm Bill. Thanks for watching, Bill's out too.